Hello, this is Christy. As part of my tutorials on Photoshop, I have decided to take each tool and demonstrate and explain what it does. So today's video is about the gradient fill tool. You can find this tool on the side on the toolbar here on the left. You can uh, press G, the G key. And if you don't see it, it's probably because the paint bucket tool is first. This is by default. This is the simple tool that just fills surfaces uh, or selections with a constant color but then if you hold down your mouse over this you will find the gradient tool the gradient tool allows you to create uh, like the name says gradients of color from one color to another in different types of shapes so the first decision you have to make is how do you want to use this what sort of fill do you want and you have them on the top bar here, the, the different shapes. And I'm going to demonstrate what they do. The, before that, you need to decide what color you want to use to start and what color you want to use to stop. So from this drop down here, you can select predefined uh, fills and gradients. But if you use the basics, it uses the colors that you already have selected in your color selection. So you can see that I have green here selected for my foreground color and the fills that are offered are green to white, which is the background color, green to transparent or black to white. So all I have to do initially is I just choose the color. So let's say green to maybe a shade of yellow like this. So now if I open this and I go to basics, you will see that the two colors have changed green and yellow. If I click on this and then go to my layer, I will drag like this. This is the direction of the fill. And if I release the mouse, there you go. It does uh, background to foreground or foreground to background. The foreground is where your uh, cursor stops. If you press again, if you drag again on top of this, it just adds color, but this, because my layer is now I'm drawing, I'm painting on the background. It's not transparent. I cannot see uh, behind it. So if you want to do a, a fancy effect, maybe you can select create a new layer and then fill that in the other direction. And then you can play with the opacity and kind of have different effects here. So this is how the gradient tool with the two colors works. Now, if you want to have a different type of fill, let's say that you want to have a transparency uh, gradient. So I'm going to write some text on my document here. And if I want to fill only a part of my layer, I can use the transparency to a uh, gradient fill. So I'm going to make a new layer here, the one that I'm going to do the fill on, go to the gradient fill tool. And then instead of selecting background to foreground, I'm going to select foreground to transparency. You see this checkered background here means it's transparent. So look what happens now. I'm going to use my green color. And when I drag, you will see that Part of the fill is the color, part of the fill is transparent. If I hide my background, you will see that it is now transparent. So this is how you create different effects with fills that go into an alpha channel or transparency. Now, let me delete this and make another layer. And I'm going to demonstrate the shapes. First of all, I'm going to make it black uh, white to green so i'm going to cover my text actually i don't want my text at all and i'm going to use yellow again so my fill is going to be green to yellow okay and let me show you the different shapes click on the layer you want to fill uh, one side note here if you want to fill a uh, different area not the entire layer you need to make a selection so let me demonstrate I'm going to make a round selection like this. And now in my layer one, I have no content. But if I use the gradient fill on with the selection on, the fill will just apply to my selection. So you can easily make shapes that are filled with different colors. And then you can move these around 
and you know like objects now let me demonstrate all of the other shapes of fills that you have available I'm gonna fill the entire layer not the selection so using the gradient tool we will go through these selection uh, these types of fills one of them is the main one the default one is a linear gradient which you've seen already you drag a line and it fills from the start to the end with the two colors if you want to swap the colors you can press this button here you can click this to swap background and foreground and notice up here when I do that the colors change on the gradient tool you can swap these colors also with the key X when you press the X key they change like that and now back to the gradient tool I'm going to show you so this is the linear gradient like that if I hold down the shift key I can actually constrain my line to 45 degree angles so if I want it to be perfectly horizontal or 45 degrees exactly or vertical I, I hold down the shift key and move around so that's going to make it a perfect horizontal or whichever direction I was pointing at the second one is called radial gradient if I click on this it's going to use the same colors but now it's going to be from the center if I drag it's going to make a sort of a circle the one of the colors is in the center and then it gets to the other color as it goes to the edges you don't have to do it in the center if I pull from this corner here the gradient will focus on that area if I drag a shorter line the circle is more a uh, smaller more detail uh, more uh, precise okay so the bigger the circle the radius that I draw the larger the fill zone is the other one the next one is a angle gradient and this one starts with a angle with the right very solid color where my line is and then it goes around in a circle and ends up at the other color in exactly the same point so it makes a very sharp line here and then all of that gradient color in between the next one is a reflected gradient which creates a center color and then it fades around the edges again if you hold down the shift key and drag the other direction it just changes it so you have like a highlighted area in the middle and then you have towards the edges on both sides you have the other color finally we have the last one is called a diamond gradient which is similar to the circle one but instead of a circle in the center it creates a rectangle so let's see how it looks like this so you see it's kind of a like a diamond like a star okay so this is kind of a little overview of the gradient tool remember you can uh, change the colors here you can use the basics which give you the three types of gradients with the foreground background color and then uh, also with the transparency or you can use some of the predefined ones depending on the color you want so like purple pinks reds oranges and you can have various types of colors here depending on what you're trying to achieve so you just click on one of them it won't change your foreground and background colors but it will apply these colors to the gradient only so you can add this to your document of course you have other options here like reverse so if you think that the foreground color is the first one you actually uh, if you swap it around it is the other one so I naturally think that maybe when I start to drag the green will be at the start of my drag operation and the yellow at the end but it actually could be the other way around so if you want to avoid that you can click the take the reverse check mark off and then it will be like that when you start to drag this the foreground color and you stop at the background color so you see it's the other way around so whatever feels more natural to you you can use it so yeah so that's kind of it you you use the gradient tool remember if you want to constrain the gradient to a particular area you need to make a selection and of course don't always paint on your background create a new layer 
fill it with what you want and then it's very easy to hide it or delete it or even control T to transform it just like any other layer in your document. I hope this tutorial has been useful and uh, give you an introduction of the gradient fill tool in Photoshop. I will be covering all of the other tools in separate tutorials and show you how they work. If you enjoyed my tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.